welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's video. I'm actually going to be ending my Partners in Cream project pan. So today will be the finale for my Partners in Cream project pan. I have just not been as excited about project panning the last few months. And I feel like this happened last year, but it was definitely like different last year. This year, um, I just feel like last year I was feeling like not even excited about makeup at all. Now I'm like, just wanting to like actually use more of my collection. Whereas I feel like project panning sometimes takes me away from actually touching everything in my makeup collection. So I'm likely going to be scaling back with project panning next year. I'll still do some panning because I love to project pan, but I'm going to scale back some just so that I can like have fun with my entire makeup collection. That's what I'm feeling. And I just thought as we get closer to the end of the year, I'm going to end my projects early so that it can allow me the last, you know, month, month and a half of 2023 to just really use and enjoy my entire makeup collection. So I do have six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six products that I was working on throughout my Partners in Cream Project Pan that I'm going to be updating you guys on where we are ending. And if you're interested, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project panning content or just chit chatting about makeup, I'd love for you to consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, you guys, I do have one empty, which I'm super excited about. So I'll save that for the end. I have a couple of like decent updates. So I'll save those for the end. We can start with this one right here. This is my Gabrielle nail polish. It is just a top coat. And I wanted to track my progress on this. I've been using nail polish. Yes, I have been using nail polish on my nails. I have been using eyeshadow as nail polish much of this year and so i thought it would be fun as i'm using a top coat every single time that i am doing my nails to just kind of track my progress with that and we did make some really good progress when i look at if it could focus when i look at where we started when we started tracking we had about three-fourths of this left and now i feel like we have about just over half. So it's exciting to see the progress there. I definitely have a large nail polish collection in general, and I have a couple of top coats in my collection. Um, nail polish takes forever to go through, even just a top coat. So I've definitely learned a lot by panning nail polish in this project. And I have barely bought any nail polish this year, but I've been using eyeshadow as nail polish. And I've had fun with like press on nails and stuff this year as well. But it's been an eye-opening experience because I used to buy a new nail polish like every week. So I definitely could like declutter my nail polish collection some. Next up, we have my, let's actually do this next, the last non-makeup product. I rolled this in just last update. This is the Sol de Janeiro Tropical Night Body Mist. I actually really, really love this. Um, it was limited edition last summer, but I feel like it is a really great fall scent. It has... Tonka bean and vanilla absolute and it just it smells I don't know how to describe it I definitely get the vanilla and the tonka bean it's almost like a smoky vanilla and I really really enjoy it so I wanted to just see if I could potentially finish this up before the end of the year when I rolled this in last update I was up here um again probably like three-fourths of it left now I'm down to half of this left so I mean if I kept going at the same rate, I would be really close to finishing this before the end of the year. If I don't have this as an empty at the end of 2023, it's not a big deal because I feel like this is something that I can definitely carry into like January and win January and winter. January and February, as this does smell like a very wintry scent to me, which is interesting because it released in their summer line. But um, I've had no issues reaching for this. I really have been enjoying this one. All right, next up we have my ColourPop lip liner. Um, this was in collaboration with Barbie in the shade Golden Beach, I believe. Yes, Golden Beach. Um, I just wanted to track my progress. I've been much better about reaching for this the last few months. I still have quite a bit of this left. I'm someone who does not reach for a lip liner every single day. In fact, I really have to encourage myself to reach for lip liners. This is something I do want to focus on next year and see if I could finish this up. It's a really beautiful, more cool toned, mid-tone pink. And I really enjoy, like this is like one of the shades that I really like on the lips. I also really enjoy this just all over the lips as like a lip base and then a gloss on top. So I would like to try and get myself to finish this next year. Um, I feel like I made decent progress on this this year. I definitely could have been better. 
Um, I was hoping to at least get to like the top of the P in ColourPop, so we did miss it by a decent amount, but fingers crossed I can roll this into 2024 and end up finishing this at some point next year. All right, then we have my Kosas Wet Lip Oil in the shade Jaws. I have been working on this and working on this and working on this, and I feel like I'm making like no progress with this, but when I rolled this in, I felt like... I'm like surprised I had this much when I rolled this in because this was like a favorite most reached for lip product for quite a few summers. Um, I definitely see a lot of like windowing and wear away. In fact, it might really just be coating the walls at this point in time, but I haven't taken, I'm like trying to poke and see if I, no, it's goopy and I can't tell. Um, what if I do this? I haven't taken the stopper out of this yet. Oh yeah, I'm definitely like, probably at least here now we definitely have made more progress since the last update i'm still hopeful i can finish this by the end of the year this is definitely one of my older lip products in my collection and if i don't finish this up this definitely is going to go bad plus it's a really beautiful um like true like blue toned red that just looks really pretty either on top of your lips as like a popsicle effect with nothing underneath or like no like this is the only product on your lips or you can top it on top of like a red lipstick just a red lipstick just to really add some shine and it's really really beautiful it's one of my favorite um red like glossy lip sort of products so i'm excited that i've gotten a good chunk of the way through this and i'm hoping that this will still be an empty by the end of this year okay last two products i am really excited about my progress with my ColourPop super shock in the shade ritz uh this is where we are at i finished a a super shock earlier this year and rolled this in knowing oh, i always forget that this falls out knowing that this would not be something that i would finish by the end of the year but i definitely feel like i made better progress on this than i thought that i would this still is very spongy to the touch so it definitely still has like a very creamy texture to it and i'm hoping that this is something that i can finish sometime next year as well i don't want to say early next year because i remember how long it took to like it looks like you have no product left and then it goes on for like months at a time so i'm hoping i can finish this one in 2024 as well and i feel like i got a really good head start going with this one and i will continue to still reach for this this is something i reach for quite a bit on days that i am just doing like mascara and brows but still want like a little bit of sparkle on the eyes i'll add this and i really like that look so i know i'll still reach for this some this year before year's end so we'll see where we end on that and then finally my empty i'm very excited because i feel like i've been working on this product for literal years this is the daniel sandler watercolor gel cheek color this is in the shade nectar i really really enjoyed this this was a beautiful liquid blush formula really beginner friendly really easy to work with the shade nectar was this really beautiful warm neutral peach sort of shade that was almost like a nude peach um, I really enjoyed it both on its own as well as to mix with other blushes that maybe were a little bit too pigmented that I wanted to tone down a little bit. It was a perfect product for that. It's been a minute since I've purchased from Look Fantastic, which is where I originally got this blush from. But next time I place an order on Look Fantastic, I could see myself purchasing this again. In fact, it's now I'm like, do I need to log on and buy another one? Not immediately. Not immediately. I do have, I purchased the um, Say Blush Trio during the Sephora VIB sale. And I think there's a really neutral blush in that little trio. At the time that I'm filming this, I don't currently have it in my hands because it's getting shipped to me. Um, but the, by the time this video goes up, I likely will have it. So maybe, fingers crossed, hopefully that'll just satisfy the itch that this one provided for me. But I really enjoyed this formula and I would be interested in potentially purchasing more from Daniel Sandler in the future. After that, you guys, those are the six products that I was working on within this project. And that is my finale for this project. Hopefully you guys are okay with me ending it just a little bit early. Um, I would love to know in the comments below, what are your favorite project pans to watch? Um, just as I try and think through what projects I'll be doing next year, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.